I first met Margaret, she was hitting serves with her dog running up and down the, the, the court, fetching the balls for her. If I think about it, I coach the five-year-olds in the afternoon and then I coach the 86-year-old in, in the morning. I saved and saved and um, wanted to go to Wimbledon. Dad wouldn't let me go unless I got a job. I wrote and I got a, um, a job over in London, a relief teacher, and that's how I played myself into the tournament. And so I went down and got to the gates, and the gates were wide open then in those days, and across the top, if you can tr meet with triumph and disaster, treat those two imposters just the same. I sat in the royal box, and, and not a soul around, then danced on the centre court <laughs> and got my little souvenir off the centre court. <laughs> I'd never been in an atmosphere like this where there are so many courts, so many people. I'd made Wimbledon, I had walked under those gates, you know, and I'd, <laughs> and I'd played on those courts. It's still a joyful moment within me. I can't forget it. I had four children. I taught for 30 odd years and then offered a job in Parliament House. Worked there then for another 15 years. I loved it. Ian rang me one day, my bro young brother, and he said, we're going to go to Turkey to play tennis. Do you want to come? Do you want to start again? Get going again? So I did. It was the beginning again. We got chatting and she was, um, she was really talking about how she was so passionate about her tennis and, and she wanted to do more in the, in the seniors and travel and play in the, you know, play in the world championships. You get out there in the court and you've got all the pleasure of com committing to that ball again and to having a go on that court, you know. But you're out there to win. We cracked open the champagne and to celebrate her success in the, in the World Super Seniors Championships. It was alive. You felt the courts were alive. You felt the people were alive and everyone walked on that court and had a go. It's just good to get out there. A long time dead. <laughs> That's one thing I've learned. <laughs>